Frontier Markets Nigeria. I am Justina Okichuku. And now we bring you a lowdown of how the markets performed at the close of trading, Thursday, the 11th of November. Continued sell pressure drove market sentiments today as the NGX All Share Index declined 0.36% to 43,549.28 basis points. On the gainers table, Unity Bank rose 7.27%, FTN Cocoa Processors was up 5%, Universal Insurance was up 4.76%, Lafayette Africa was also up 2.62%, while UPDC was up 2.42%. On the losing side, Cornerstone Insurance lost 8.77%, Cotix PLC was down 8.06%, E Transact was also down 7.32%, Regency Alliance was down 7.32% also, and Lasaco Assurance was also down 5.36%. Meanwhile, the NGS Group also recorded a downturn as the index was down 2.16% to 18 naira 10 cobo per unit, with a total of 2.066 shares traded in 70 deals worth 37.540 million naira. At the NASD OTC market, a total of 222,154 shares were traded, valued at 5.689 million naira. As the NSI rose 0.59% to close at 757.16 basis points. At the FNDQ Securities Exchange, a total of 78.729 billion naira worth of bonds, Nigerian Treasury bills and OMO papers were traded on the platform. While at the I and E window, the naira was flat at 414 naira 73 copper per dollar, at an intraday high of 444 naira and a low of 404 naira to the USD. Open by back rate rose 0.17% to close at 1.67%. Now to the market's news. Debt Management Office offers FGM bonds worth 150 billion naira for November 2021. Lasaku Assurance grows profit after tax to 459 million naira in the third quarter. Real Exchange posts 159 million naira profit in the second quarter. While Courtville Business Solutions reports 203 million naira profit after tax in the third quarter. Shalaram's PLC records lower profit of 186.09 million naira in the second quarter. And that'll be all for you today on Frontier Markets Nigeria. Do join us again tomorrow. I am Justina Okechuku. Bye for now.